<laughs> Welcome to the Five on Five. The guest is Ann Manlove. She's an extension agent for H Youth Development. Thank you very much for joining me because we're talking fair this time of year, which a lot of people think 4-H, it's such an important part of it. Tell us a little bit about the 4-H. The Frankly, this time of year, I think 4-H. <laughs> so we have a lot going on at the county fair. Uh, certainly the horses are showing. Beef steers come in tomorrow. The females are in today. Uh, the poultry showed last night, so they'll be at the fairgrounds for a couple more days. Swine started today. Lots of pigs. So yes, it's a busy time at the fair. We may have some city people or some new people that haven't uh, been around 4-H before. Tell us a little about what it means for the, the youth and, and how it develops their, their skills. Okay, so 4-H is a youth development program. Our goal is to have them develop skills and they usually take a project, you know, an animal, a cookie, something like that. And from that, they learn skills that we think will transfer uh, to other areas of their life, especially when they leave the 4-H program. And what kind of animals, you're mentioning some of them, but some of the main ones that uh, the, the, the youth work with. So at this fair, lots of pigs, lots of horses, the beef, uh, goats come in a little later in the week. They come in on Thursday. So we have a staggered entry just so that the facilities can accommodate the number of animals that we have. And how are things out at the fair with the facilities? And are you seeing there's still a lot of people around here that want to participate, a lot of kids that want to participate in this? Certainly. I think that you know, most people love the thought of having an animal. They don't like the thought of having it die, which uh, they don't have to do that. It can be a breeding stock project or showmanship. But I think certainly they think of us and know that we're out there slaughtering animals. But, but really, the program continues to thrive because of kids interested in animals. But then it's more than animals. It's certainly there's a table setting contest going going on today. So all the foods, photography is our digital, our digital ph photography has made photography one of the largest project areas that we have. So lots of entries in that area. Uh, kids in the shooting sports have done some of their competitions earlier this week. So there's just a, a lot of areas that, that kids can get into if they, you know, maybe they kind of like animals, but are a little worried about taking on something like that. There's just a sure. lot of different areas that they can mean. The Lego robotics competitions, we have those going oh, wow. on the last, the next three days as well. So sumo bot, art bot, speed bot. So opportunities to create Lego robots as well. Wow. A few more questions for you. So stick around. We're five on five right after the break. Welcome back to the Five on Five. The guest is Ann Manlove. We've been talking about 4-H and one important part of youth development. It is the youth development program. You were mentioning robots and, and things. So the, the tradition of 4-H continues, but it's probably changed a lot over the years. You know, certainly programs have to accommodate the changes. And our kids are uh, not always in the country, and so they don't have the option of taking an animal or at least uh, those kind of animals that would require more space. They can have dogs, they can have cats, they can have koi fish for that matter. But uh, the technology area are growing in the 4-H program and so Lego Robotics are big and so we have uh, uh, sumo bots, uh, art bots, speed bots and so they have a certain period of time to build their robot and to see how it uh, performs certain tasks. Oh, that's interesting and they go up, do they go up against head to head or? Head to head, see uh, which one's the best. And can people see that out at the fair this they week? They can see that in the Mace building, it's a technology focus this year. Oh, very fun. And um, what are some of the other traditional things that if people go out to the fair, they'll see? They'll see the, the uh, students showing their, their animals for 4-H uh, programs? They will. We start early in the morning, so they'll see kids showing their pigs today and tomorrow, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see steers coming in on Wednesday, so you'll see the kids wrestling with their 1,200-pound you know, animals. The horses continue through the week, ending with Jim Khanna on Saturday. Uh, the goats start, so there's lots of animal activity. And if someone has a, a young child or uh, out there that wants to learn more, where can they get the information and what age can you start? So they can call the Oregon State University Extension Service, 541-776-7371. Uh, of course, they can find us with a Google search on the web, uh, but they can also um, get their kids in at K through three, although it's a different kind of program. It's a dabbling exploratory. So fourth grade is really the time where they come in and take a project and go to fair. And after all these years, it seems like it's still just a great program for kids that uh, they're still learning a lot. They are indeed. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Well, get, you get back out to all the animals there out at the fair. Thank you, Joe. All right. That's it for the 5 on 5. More news right after the break.